Assalamu alaikum guys. We just arrived in Baghdad after a six hour drive from Basra. It is almost midnight. This is crazy. We're going for some grills here in Baghdad and we're here at Lor Jadriya. <laughs> no, it's Lor Jadriya. Lor Jadriya. Something like that, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna have chicken. We're gonna have ribs, which are like, it's almost like brisket, he said, right? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna also have possibly some lamb. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna have some shisha. I see somebody, well, everybody's smoking shisha, actually. So I'm excited, I'm delirious, I'm tired. Let's go inside, let's get some energy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kitchen, let's go, kitchen. Woo! Thank you. Lots of, lots of pickles. Never ending pickles. Over here we have our friend Kabab. What do we have? Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Alright, kitchen time. Let's go inside. Salam alaikum. Okay, so here we have the ribs. Look at this. Aha, yes. Oh, yes. This is gonna be so good. <sighs> Beef ribs, huh? So good. And we have, what else over here? We have beef kebabs, these beef kebabs, they look different. Beef or lamb? Lamb. 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 Sheep. Sheep. Lamb. Bah, bah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Okay, so he has the minced lamb right here. He's making the kebabs. Always on these beautiful skewers. Look at this. Love this. Oh, it's so good. I can eat like 50 of these. So we're gonna eat this. Possibly we're gonna have some salad next to it. And then over here we have the chicken we're gonna have, right? So the chicken. So it's marinating in this like, almost just like a curry, right? I'm guessing there's turmeric in here because the color looks so just like this on these sticks. You know what we call this in Spain? Pinchos. Because they pincha. Exacto. <laughs> no, no, seriously. That's not how they call it. In San Sebastián, the north, just like that. And then uh, I guess we're going to go continue over to the tea area. Let's see. Let's see. Tea? My friend. Tea area? The spices are uh, for... Uh, oh, show me, show me. Let me see this. This is spices for this? Yeah. Okay, you're going to put it in now? Yeah. Wow, that looks delicious. What? Woo! It smells fantastic. Fantastic. you? Uh, yeah. Guys, it smells so good. Oh my god, it's a tomato paste with some spices. Tell us what you think. I think this looks amazing. We're all half asleep here. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the grill, right? My friend, let's go this way. Wow, and we also have all the hookahs here, right? Shisha. So, what are we doing? Chai chai? Yes. Chai chai chai. It's amazing. So, two big, huge pots here. We have never ending sugar. This is what Iraq runs on, right? Sugar. Yes. Lots of sugar. Everybody loves sugar here. Me, no sugar. Oh, oh. Me. oh, look, look, look. This is what makes it tea so special. If you guys haven't seen, this is what makes it super special. This, my friend, is called cardamom. So, what they do is they break it, take the seeds out, you know, uh, put it in a motor and pestle, crunch, like, you know, basically grind it down, and then they mix it into the tea. Or, or we take a whole piece, mm -hmm. we put it in the water while the water boils. Mm -hmm. We add the tea. Okay, well I do this. This too. We do this too. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. This is a taste of India. <laughs> this is a taste of home. <laughs> Now he's gonna stir it. Hot. Hot. Okay, so I guess we're gonna try this right here. What do you think? It's hot tassels? It's not hot, it's hot. It's hot. 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 Oh, yeah. It's good. So, supposedly, you need to have this first, right? And then you have another one later. You yeah. can do it in Iraq. <laughs> so, definitely. You in the Middle East, chai is like life, you know? Mm hmm. Super nice. I need that. I'm dead. Ready for some meat, some ribs, some. I'm meat. ready. Yeah? Let's go eat. Let's yes, go. Let's go. go. And right here we have the grill. Woo! This will wake you up. Nice. I love it. it melts the fat. <laughs> that, that's the key. That, that's secret, right? That's the secret to my success. 
Is it red? What is that called? Arayas, the bread lamb pie, basically. Two pieces of uh, bread, and the middle, uh, there's lamb. What? Yes, we ate that before. We ate that before? Yes. When? Uh, in Baghdad, I forget when Baghdad was, bro. I'm, I'm delirious. Okay, so we're gonna eat this, it's good. We're gonna meet everything here. Oh, wow, look at that, oh, the chicken. Chicken, 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 okay. The ring you have is a killer. It's the best. <laughs> it's a killer in a good way, right? I'm so fast, this guy. Die. For me? Yes. <laughs> okay, table, table. This is it. Or a huge, huge kebab platter. Look at this. Insane, right? So we got chicken, we have lamb, we have what this place is famous for. They're literally named after it. And we also have the, the lamb, like high, right? Two pieces of bread, yes. lamb in the middle. Got some bread, got some pickles, tomato, and chicken. Never ending food here. You didn't say the names. Rur, Arais, Kebab, Ticket. Perfect. Yes. I'm starting with this because they say we have to, right? Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's try. So juicy. Mm hmm. It's the marinade. Whatever they marinate with, wow. Incredible. So much flavor. I mean, not so much meat, but. Gotta pull that up. Mm hmm. Mm. Try this crispy part, the texture. Mm -hmm. It's like super crispy, extremely charred. Oh my gosh. I don't remember the last time I had midnight kebabs. Welcome mm. to Iraq. So phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is. Even though there's only a little bit of meat, the layers, the toast of the bone, so juicy. A little fatty. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is the piece that fell off the bone. Mm. Look, look, look at that. Oh. This is so good. Let's break it off like this, right? Look at this. This is the piece I wanted so bad. The juices and the marinade. Mm. So delicious. Gonna take a part of this. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. The, the sauce they used for this. Guys, you need to try it. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're trying this. So I've had. At ice. At ice. So I've had something like this in Lebanon. Very similar for breakfast in Lebanon. Here's the winner, guys. The minced lamb with the onions, spices. Mm-hmm. It's so smoky though. Parsley. 
Mm -hmm. Right in there. This is the thing. That was a really big bite, but that was so delicious. And this, easy, right? Yeah. Eat like this. That's got so many sandwiches right there, my friend. I thought you were the, you got used to Iraq. Mm. The sandwich. Open it up. Put this in. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in. Nice and juicy. Then put the lamb in. Like that. And for me, I'm right. gonna do I'm gonna proportion it because you were yeah, added too much tomato. I know it is. Have a little bit of, of uh, kebab, a mm -hmm. little bit of parsley, and most importantly a little bit of tomato. Of course. Not tomato. the whole plate. Not Sorry whole dude, the thing is that he cut it up in like four squares, so <laughs> yeah. what can I do here? Let's do it. I'm so happy. This, this is the gold standard of Iraqi kebab. This is the ultimate kebab. I thought we had kebabs already in the trip. Nothing compares to this piece. Mm. This bread, delicious, man. Wait, forget delicious. Another level of bread. This is Iraqi samoon. They make it in that pizza stove. Mm -hmm. It looks like a pizza. Not really, like a, like a square pizza, triangle pizza. <laughs> Something pizza. Something pizza. Sorry, it's very late for me. My bedtime is 10 p.m. And right here, we have the chicken. Yeah. Take a piece off. Oh, that. Perfect. No. And you do the same thing, right? Yes, mini sandwich. Mini sandwich. Let's get some bread. Make this one easier. Let's get that. I'm gonna just dip it in here and soak up the tomato. Look at that. Yeah, that's something to do right there, my friend. Yeah, I just didn't want to put a whole tomato in there right now. Look like that. Mm. We forgot an important part. Pickles. I had one right up, my friend. Where's it guys? Mm. The amount of smokiness here, I've never experienced it. It's like a different type of smoking level. Oh, the Iraqi food is way more than kebabs, but they know how to do kebabs. I agree. Wow. I completely agree. What are we missing? This guy? Yes, the chicken breast. Mmm. So I'm just gonna get a piece right here. Obviously, you can do it with a sandwich. I don't want to fill up too much. It's really yeah, late. Me too. Mmm. Dude. That marinade, right? It's almost like a barbecue sauce. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. Man, they know how to grill here. They know how to grill. This is it. This is all you serve, right? Mm. Basically, everything that can be grilled, they serve it. They serve it. So again, beef, chicken, lamb, tomatoes, bread. That's basically this place. Okay. Good? Yeah, good. I will always love this. I ate so fast, I'm done. My man, thank you so much for bringing me here. So far, Phil <laughs> weekend, thank you guys. It's uh, 12.45 at night, I'm extremely tired, I'm dead. This was probably the best kebabs I've had in the country. This for sure is something you won't find anywhere else. It's delicious, it's brisket, ribs, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I mean, everything was good. I think also the the pe the was called the bread with the lamb that was phenomenal yes, too, yes. right? I'm so full that I am sleepy. Yeah, and this is my last night in Baghdad. Tomorrow morning, we're waking up and we're driving north straight to Mosul, then Erbil, then I'm going home in 72 hours. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content, and I can't keep my eyes open.
My man, let's go to sleep. Yes, let's, let's go. go. Let's go.